Well, as I mentioned, they had a lot going on during the game. You heard head coach Chris Finch just mentioning them. Uh, Rudy Gobert throwing the punch, hitting Kyle Anderson during a huddle during the game before halftime. Rudy Gobert gets sent home, so he leaves the building. And then you have the situation with Jaden McDaniels punching the wall. Chris Finch said out of frustration. We have since then seen reports that it is actually his hand is fractured. Mm. So you hate to speculate, but with a broken hand, chances are you're not playing in the next game. So they had the play-in tournament to be concerned about. GA, where does that put this Minnesota Timberwolves team? Well, they're at a huge disadvantage. Jaden McDaniels. You know, all, Anthony Edwards gets all the accolades, and deservedly so, but this young man has become one of the better two-way players in the league, and offensively he was, you know, ascending. And so to lose him, his versatility, that's going to be a tremendous blow to this team. And we don't know what happened, what transpired to, to have him react the way he did, uh, but then you couple that with what's going to transpire with the Rudy Gobert situation, not knowing whether or not he's going to be suspended right. for a game, um, potentially. It, it's probably not the best scenario for a team that's coming off such an emotionally high win, you know. Um, Smitty, that's, it's just got to be tough. And, and, and also tough for their coach, right? Because mm -hmm. he's like he really hadn't had a chance to process all that's transpired right. dealing with the, the game and what's going on. I think, G.A., you said it best. The coach is going through so much, and he handled the press conference, I thought, pretty well. I like that he said it was our veterans, which you never want to see that. Yeah. Then I think I love the statement that that won't be tolerated here. Yeah. And then the question, was, will he be suspended? I, you know, you don't think that's fair to ask a coach right there in that position. But I think he handled that. But he did kind of lead on to tell us a little bit what happened. He said it was blown assignment. Yes, he did. Yeah. So it was basketball that they were upset about. And when it's blown assignments, you should be able, as a veteran, both veterans, be able to control yourself and not lead to punches. And hopefully for this Minnesota Timberwolves fan base and this organization, you might have already lost McDaniels and possibly lose Rudy Gobert. Makes it really tough going into we want L.A. chance when you're going to play the Lakers without sure. those two guys. And there are two guys, especially defensively, you're going to lose a lot. It's a really good point. The defensive side is going to that's suffer. Length. That's really That's a lot of length Ooh. between those two guys. We're not sure what's going to happen with Rudy Gobert. There could be a possible suspension looming, so we will see. If we hear anything, we'll make sure you know right away. There's your big board, all 15 finals. We'll be back with more. There's your big board, ladies and gentlemen. We've got 15 gold bars, 15 games in the NBA, all finals for you. Get yourself caught up in what happened. Now, we talked a little bit about that game with the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. With that victory, now that puts them in the eighth spot. You heard the fans chanting, beat L.A., because the Lakers will be in the seventh spot. They will play each other in that first round of that play-in tournament. Significant because whoever wins that game will be the seventh seed, playing number two instead of potentially number one. I think also huge, and you don't want to think about this as a franchise, but because of way, way the rules are, if you lose, you get another chance to play. Right. I think that's huge for the Minnesota Timberwolves and for the Pelicans right now. They've had a tough year without Zion, but they're in a the ninth place. You lose now, and you're out. And so I think for Minnesota, this is huge. You get two chances yeah. to get a chance to be in the playoffs. But with all the distractions, with all everything they had going on in this mm. game, Give credit to the guys that came out there and stuck with it because they were down huge at halftime, especially what they had going on going into half. This was a big win to weather the storm because it was a big storm they had in Minnesota. Yes. <laughs> and they came out and be able to win this game. Yeah, storm. And just, to, just to recap so people at home make sure they know what's happening with the play-in tournament because it is still fairly new. Seven plays eight. The winner of that game goes on to be the seventh seed to play mm -hmm. number two. The loser of the game, to your point, Smitty, gets another opportunity. They would wait to play the, 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 winner, the winner, excuse me, of the 9-10 mm -hmm. game. And then the winner of that game would go on to be the eighth seed. Yeah. Okay, go and, ahead. Gia. And the advantage also, even if Minnesota loses, they'll host the next game. Mm -hmm. And it could be New Orleans again. Right. right? That would be ironic. Be uh, and, and you may – listen – I'm still baffled by all that has transpired during the course of that game with the, yes. the fight between teammates. Uh, then Jay McDaniels seems to have hurt his hand over the course of the game. We don't know the seriousness Punching of that. Punching the wall. Punching the wall. Yes. 
Uh, but through all of that, and here's a, and you can Ooh, see there. Right that, away, that, he grabs it. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Hopefully, it's just some cuts and scratches and not anything serious. And then you had this altercation that escalated quickly. And that's just, it's unfortunate on so many levels. They're going to have to deal in, with that and address that. Is the potential that Gobert is not going to be there in right. that play-in game. We, we just don't know how this is all going to transpire. And I'm sure the post-game press conference should be pretty interesting for the Timberwolves. It will be very interesting. And we're showing you the West standings here. You can see on the left side, one through six, they are in. That middle column for the play-in tournament is what we were talking about. Seven plays eight, nine plays ten. The winner of the seven-eight game becomes the seventh seed. They will play the Memphis Grizzlies. The winner of the nine-ten game will then go on to play the loser of the seven-eight game. And the winner of that third game will then become the eighth seed, and they will play the Denver Nuggets. And that OKC Pelicans mm. game is going to be a big one, too. I mean, I know they're the tenth seed. But you can't count out OKC. Mm -mm. I mean, not with they, SGA. Not with SGA and not with Giddy. I mean, they have some guys that can get out and can make plays, and they could get rolling and could easily end up as an HC. It's, I mean, it's a lot to take in. Yeah. But it's fun. It is fun, Stephanie. It's interesting. If going back to when they first proposed to play it, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't either. I, I, I just wasn't either. Was, I didn't like it. I thought it would be kind of gimmicky and whatnot. But I got to tell you, I have rapidly become a fan. I think it's incredibly exciting. The fact that we had so many teams still in it right. in the last week of the season, I think that creates tremendous excitement. Uh, we, we saw some incredible adversity, unfortunately, today as well. And so I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to these playing games. And because to, we talked about this earlier, the fact that you got to play potentially two more games, that means even if you get in as an eight, See, you're not going to have a lot of prep time. No. You know, the you only advantage days. you have from a coaching staff standpoint is at least you know, even going into that last matchup, at least you know who you're going to play yes. if you win. So your staff can start preparing for that. But the players can't because they got to have right. their sole focus on that last playing game to see if they're able to, to uh, prevail. Well, we heard Monty Williams talking about that very thing when they were the one seed in the West last year with the Suns. Mm -hmm. They had two days to prepare for their opponent because they had to wait for all of those games to transpire before yeah. they figured out who their actual opponent was going to be. So adds to the excitement of the postseason. Okay, and we've just been told that uh, Jaden McDaniel's hand is fractured. Oh, boy. Yes, that was reported by Woj. Oh. So, as we mentioned earlier, the possibility that he would miss the play-in and potentially any games thereafter is now a real thing. Yeah. All right, big board for you. All games are final. 15 games in the NBA. 